Hello everyone, I hope I am audible and uh, visible. Okay, so let me just have a quick tech check. Yes, I guess I am properly audible and properly visible. Right, okay, so today we are uh, going to start a new series. Uh, the thing is, ki last year we like even in the January we, we used to have like 15 days currently current affairs, fortnightly current affairs. From uh, this week onward, we are going to have a weekly uh, current affairs session in which we are going to discuss some of the important topic uh, of the week. Right, and we are going to have uh, lots of different discussion. The discussion is going to be oriented uh, around the law entrance exam, like CLAT is there, right? Uh, like uh, NLU Delhi exam is there, Symbiosis is there, MSCT is there. So, yes, uh, like we are going to have a new series, we are going to start a new thing from this particular uh, week that is current affairs weekly, right? So, let's start what we are having uh, today. So, the first is uh, World Economic Situation and Prospect 2023. Jia, 2019, 2020, 2021. 2019, December, uh, basically. 2020 complete, 2021 almost complete. 2022, half, um, like some, some, something. For example, China is still suffering from the COVID thing and some Eastern countries are suffering. And because of the, the, like uh, China and other countries, uh, other countries are suffering because of lack of supply chain, etc., etc. So, after this particular 2021 situation, 2022 was quite recoverable. Kuch recovery jo hai, humne dekhne ko, uh, humne dekhne ko mili thi. So, uh, like in the January ending, the United Nations organization decided to put a new report regarding the uh, 2023 situation and prospects of the economic aspect. Right. So, uh, in that particular report, they decided to collect certain data. Now, that data include the economic growth, the GDP growth of different different regions, different countries, the uh, like aspect of per capita income, aspect of unemployment, inflation, and supply chain management, and lots of different things. बहुत सारे क्राइटेरियाज उठा के उन्होंने अल्टीमेटली एक रिपोर्ट पब्लिश की जिसमें जो 2023 का इकोनॉमिक सेटअप होने वाला है पूरे वर्ल्ड में रीजन वाइज कंट्री वाइज उसको उन्होंने क्या किया एनालाइज किया राइट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट बेसिक रिपोर्ट थोड़ा सा हम उसकी बात करते हैं जब तो उन्होंने बोला कि देर इज अ बैड न्यूज फॉर द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमिक फ्रंट दैट इज हाउ द रिपोर्ट स्टार्टेड दैट इज हाउ द एडिटोरियल फ्रॉम द डाउन टू अर्थ स्टार्ट राइट द डोमेस्टिक ग्रॉस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट जीडीपी ऑफ ग्लोबल लेवल लाइक वर्ल्ड के जीडीपी जो है दैट इज गोइंग टू ड्रॉप बाय 1.9 परसेंट विच वी हैड इन द लाइक 3 परसेंट फ्रॉम 2022 अकॉर्डिंग टू द न्यू रिपोर्ट पब्लिश बाय यूनाइटेड नेशन उन्होंने कई रीजंस भी दिए फॉर एग्जांपल दे सेड देर आर सर्टेन रीजंस व्हिच आर गोइंग थ्रू क्राइसिस सेक्टर्स व्हिच आर गोइंग टू क्राइसिस फॉर एग्जांपल फूड सेक्टर एनर्जी सेक्टर राइट फूड सेक्टर बिकॉज़ ऑफ द इन्फ्लेशन बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर द एनर्जी सेक्टर बिकॉज़ ऑफ रशिया यू आर अवेयर अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गैस दैट इज फ्लेमेबल गैस जिसका यूज हम एनर्जी प्रोडक्शन में करते हैं बाई रशिया लाइक ट्वेंटी एटीन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन की जो रिपोर्ट थी वर्ल्ड एनर्जी रिपोर्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट रशिया वॉज होल्डिंग ट्वेंटी फोर परसेंट ऑफ टोटल नेचुरल गैस प्रोडक्शन अराउंड द वर्ल्ड सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड इज फेसिंग ह्यूज क्राइसिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ एनर्जी नाउ यूक्रेन रशिया वॉर इज ऑल्सो डिस्ट्रॉइंग द सप्लाई चेन ऑफ फूड वीट एंड अदर पर्टिकुलर Uh, commodities and apart from that we are having certain crisis going on uh, in terms of civil wars in terms of uh, military destabilities in the Middle East and some other northern African region so uh, they said certain different uh, factors like food energy crisis inflation uh, the Ukraine Russia war the COVID-19 and it's uh, like aftermath that we are facing because of that they had dropped the uh, data of a global GDP forecast by 1.9% in 2023, right? Let's see what are the basic outcomes of the report. So the basic outcomes includes lots of different things. For example, they said the GDP of the world is going to down by 1.9% as we have seen. The world's output growth, right, can be grow, can be uh, like bounced back by 2.7% until, right, 2024. 
वाई दे आर हैविंग दिस सोर्ट ऑफ थिंग बिकॉज की जो भी वॉर चल रहा है रशिया यूक्रेन के बीच में उनके थ्रू ये जो सप्लाई चेन है वो थोड़ा सा कमजोर हुई है एंड वी आर जस्ट होपिंग दैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री विल बी द टाइम जब रशिया यूक्रेन वॉर जो है वो एंड अप हो जाएगा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे टॉक अबाउट दी वर्ल्ड एवरेज इन्फ्लेशन रेट दैट इज सपोज टू बी देर अप्रोक्सीमेट नाइन परसेंट बाई दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू विच आर गोइंग टू सी ऑलमोस्ट सिमिलर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रीजन वेयर वी लिव दैट इज साउथ एशिया साउथ एशिया इज द रीजन जहां पे इंडिया और इंडिया के बाकी पड़ोसी देश रहते हैं तो वहां पे भी उन्होंने ये चीज देखी है जो रिपोर्ट है उसमें इन्होंने बात की है कि जो इन्फ्लेशन है जो फूड क्राइसिस है जो एनर्जी क्राइसिस है अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट सर्टन मॉनिटरी एंड फिजिकल पॉलिसी फेलियर दैट वी आर सींग अराउंड अस राइट एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट गवर्नमेंट वी आर हैविंग म्यांमार वी आर हैविंग अफगानिस्तान वी आर हैविंग श्रीलंकन क्राइसिस वी आर हैविंग क्राइसिस इन पाकिस्तान सो साउथ एशिया इज ऑल्सो नॉट गोइंग टू परफॉर्म वेरी वेल as we have we are seeing the data in 2022 as well right so the report outcome was about the global gdp uh, growth rate the output growth that is like productivity kitna acha rahegi apne uh, uski uh, global gdp ki then we are seeing certain inflation data that we are facing inflation india may be hai and apart from that a proper uh, like outcome for the uh, south asian region right now the next thing we are going to concern in this report is about the forecasting for india india mein unhone kya baatein notice ki now just make sure this report or, or this report is also having certain more references jaise last year december mein hi uh, world uh, sorry world bank and international monetary fund ne jo uh, लाइक कैपिटा डिफरेंस है या कहना चाहिए जो पैसों का डिफरेंस है अमीरों और गरीबों के बीच में राइट right? उसके बारे में उन्होंने बात की थी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उन्होंने अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड इन्फ्लेशन के बारे में बात की थी सो दे आल्सो हैड सर्टेन रेफरेंसेस फ्रॉम दोज एजेंसीज वाई दे आर हैविंग रेफरेंसेज फ्रॉम दोज एजेंसीज क्योंकि वो यूनाइटेड नेशन के साथ मिलकर काम करती राइट सो जो वट एवर दे आर हैविंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पेशलाइज एजेंसी रिपोर्ट सो दे टुक द रेफरेंस फ्रॉम दैम एज वेल सो दे सेट Uh, something about the growth rate of india something about the inflation and other thing so uh, the growth rate of india according to the report is estimated to be like close to 5.86% right jo ki last year yani 2022 ki growth rate se thoda sa kam hai but that is good because the uh, world is not growing according even at, at, uh, up to the level of 2 3% right so india is having good news not very good but as compared to other countries we are growing better apart from that jo poverty eradication ka case tha right which was having huge 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 uh, like improvement until 2019 before the covid 19 pandemic right ye jo hai ye thoda sa gadbada gaya humne bahut sare logon ko poverty se yani garibi se 2019 ke pehle nikala tha right but ड्यू टू कोविड 19 पेंडेमिक जो ये जॉब लॉस हुई है जो ये माइग्रेंट वर्क क्राइसिस हुआ है जो कायदे से काइंड ऑफ दी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स के जो क्राइसिस है बिकॉज ऑफ दैट क्लोज टू 7.5 पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव करोर पीपल राइट दे आर गोइंग इन टू दी एक्सट्रीम लेवल ऑफ पॉवर्टी जो कि लाइक इन ड्यूरिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइम ड्यूरिंग पेंडेमिक टाइम मोर देन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टू नाइन पॉइंट फाइव करोर पीपल आर गोइंग इन टू दी एक्सट्रीम पॉवर्टी और ये एडिशनल डेटा है मतलब एडिशनल लोग हैं जो कोविड पेंडेमिक के बाद एंटर कर रहे हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एज वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी इन इक्वालिटीज बिटवीन द कैपिटा और द इनकम राइट सो इंडिया इज हैविंग सर्टन much more larger difference in terms of uh, poor in terms of rich the thing is ke rich are getting richer and poor are getting poorer due to this covid pandemic situation okay so that is how uh, the things are getting bad in terms of india's uh, part because uh, the overall uh, socio economic growth that we had expected right from the growth of economy from the 2014 2019 election and after that it isn't going well because of pandemic and ukraine russia war and now we are having certain chances that we are getting uh, like low cost fuel from russia and some other improvement but still there is a lot of thing to be worked according to the way forward or the conclusion of the report india is possessing huge potential of growth in gdp per capita income and apart from that eco socio development 
so indian and indian economic policies are going to be in such a fashion that we are going to see huge u uh, like shape curve in coming uh, years in terms of growth right so that is the outcome for india that report had published now what is the united nation that is important to know kyunki jab bhi hum clat ki baat karenge so there will be a passage that passage will include the uh, current affairs question some of the current affairs question and then some of the static question as well i know a uh, kind of tucha sa topic hai united nation organization but still we are supposed to cover it okay so united nation organization uh, was first conferred or first uh, discussed in the conference of uh, like uh, san francisco that happened in 1945 finally 50 countries and the representative decided that we are going to sign the united nation charter and with the help of that charter united nation organization was created ab ye united nation organization kya hai bada simple hai first world war ke baad league of nations bana tha and it was a failure institution because it was not able to prevent the second world war the united nation organization is one of the uh, like uh, evolutionary body from that uh, league of nation but this time more effectively more uh, like authoritatively it is working it is working toward the uh, world peace it is working toward the uh, socio economic growth it is working toward the uh gdp economical and social aspect of around the world developing countries could developed countries ke level pe leke jana for that we are having the search and uh, development organizations we are having certain policy making institution we are having certain certain funding institution jo ki alag alag level pe world ko kya karte hain uh, help karte hain now united nation organization is having six principal organs as you know right the secretariat the general assembly the international court of justice the security council the trusteeship council and socio economic council okay so aap mujhe bata sakte hain chat box mein ki inme se kaun sa aisa institution hai jo currently functioning nahi hai suspended right apart from that united nation is having certain specialized agency Uh, we discussed about it ki certain specialized agencies worked according to the vision of united nation chahe wo sustainable development goals ho chahe wo economic social development ho chahe uh, like human right protection ho etc etc right so some of them are like uh, unesco unicef world health organization food and agricultural organization international labor organization international monetary fund etc etc right including including world bank and some other thing okay so this is united nation now let's come to the uh, type of question or the kind of facts that can become a good uh, objective question first of all the world economic situation as prospect report 2023 is published by the answer should be united nation when it comes to united nation united nation establishment year united nation headquarter united nations current uh, like jo uh, general secretary hain unka naam ye seedhe seedhe direct questions hote hain right apart from that we are having certain data regarding the india and world so we are supposed to learn about them right whether like what is the projected growth rate of india what is the projected uh, inflation rate for the world etc etc according to the report that's a simple data uh, maybe data is not supposed to be there but according to the last clad that we had seen some of question if i'm not wrong there were two questions which were directly associated with the data ओके सो सम ऑफ देम एक तो साथ की किसी एक पर्टिकुलर चीज के लिए फंडिंग कितनी मिली है सो जस्ट मेक श्योर टू हैव सर्टेन इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू टू मग अप ऑल द थिंग कि भैया कितना होना चाहिए पर कैपिटल इनकम कितना था व्हाट इज इन डॉलर व्हाट इज इन रिपोर्ट सो वो तुम इग्नोर कर सकते हो बट वेन एवर यू आर हैविंग सर्टन इंपॉर्टेंट डेटा कि इन्फ्लेशन कितना होगा जीडीपी ग्रोथ कितनी होगी ये आप क्या करें उसको लिख के रखें apart from that we are having united nation and its uh, different organs their headquarters etc etc just make sure to update one of the document in your uh, notebook hai na meri tarah se chup chap do teen a4 size ke page le lo to write down all the major institutions uh, like specialized agencies of united nation and united nation and some other international group or international uh, cooperation group right write down their headquarter write down their head write down their uh, like establishment year in those a4 size paper put those paper in front of your wall right the table or the wall and read it like for one month on the regular basis i'm pretty sure you're not going to forget it right moving on to the next topic the bharat parv 
Yeah, right. Okay, so we had celebrated the Republic Day on the 26th of January. You are aware about the Republic Day 1950-1949. Our constitution was made, constitution was made, we made the Republic Day. Manaya. Constitution was made 26th of November 1949. But we decided to implement, to, uh, like make sure that it is coming effect, uh, on effect on the 26th of January 1950. Because in the past, when we had this complete independence proposal passed by Indian National Congress, it was 26th of January when we had our first Independence Day. Manaya tha. Right? So to honor that day, we had our constitution in 1950, mein, 26th of January. Jo tha. Okay? So whenever we are having Republic Day or Independence Day celebration, there are some general questions that you have to ask in your notes. Mein For example, who was the uh, like uh, guest of honor who came to our Republic Day or uh, what should we say in uh, Independence Day? Mein. What was the theme if we are having, like for example, we are in Amrit Kaal, mein, right? Or we have made the Amrit Mahotsa, or we are going to do something Some events related to those ones. So, uh, in this particular uh, Republic Day, we had this grand festival or grand uh, like parv that is known as Bharat Parv. It is a mega event of almost a week, that is six days, right, organized by India, uh, Government of India, which was organized in Redford, 26th of January to 31st of January. This was Republic Day celebration. Ka part hi tha. Now, the uh, Ministry of Culture has highlighted a lot of things. They had certain uh, like um, pan-India socio-cultural events. You can have food from the different cuisine around the Indian uh, subcontinent. You can have, you can see the culture, you can see the dance, you can see the handlooms, you can see the handicrafts, and lots of different things. So, kul mila ke, six days ke liye, pura India, pure India ka food, pure India ka culture, pure India ke sari cheeze aapko gyan pat mein red food ke saamne dekhne ko mili. It was a huge event organized by government of India and uh, like these kind of events are necessary as well. If you want to learn about uh, the social and cultural aspect of our country, that is the place that you should visit. Right? Those are the kind of uh, <clears throat> Those are the kind of event that you should visit so that you can have enough knowledge about it. Right now, apart from that, uh, this particular year 2023 is important because India is going to lead lots of uh, different uh, front. For example, year of millets. Yes, India millets ka a producer or exporter. Hai. So if this is if this is year of millets, that means we are going to uh, tell worlds how important they are and how you can uh, consume them in terms of food. Apart from that, we are having the presidency of G20. That means 24 uh, most and 20 most strongest economy are looking toward India. We are going to put the topics. We are going to uh, put the uh, like agendas in the on the table uh, in the G20. So those agenda can be terrorism, world peace, uh, regional cooperation, the war that is going around, and some economic aspects. So. These uh, these type of uh, particular events becomes very important for the national and international concern, right? So that is Bharat Par. Let's see what were the events, what were the main attraction of the Bharat Par, right? Uh, law and justice, all these topics are of current affairs. Okay, so six days event will have some major comp uh, component that we said. First is a regional cuisine, yes. Puridesh ke khana khana hai, Puridesh ke alag alag khana khana hai, jau, waha pe mil jayega. Right, and it was good. Because we are having a year of millet this year, handicrafts and handloom, different different aapko, uh, kapde, different different aapko, clothing and different different aapko, cultural aspect mil jayenge. Apart from that, culture and heritage, the uh, Ministry of Culture made sure that the states and the zonal uh, particular uh, centers are performing according to their special uh, specific uh, like state specific union territory specific so that uh, we can learn about the dance we can learn about the uh, culture of that we can learn about the festival of different area different states Fair, we are having some achievement flagship program jo central of central government ne pichle kuch saalon se kya kiya tha uh, achieve kiye hain ki humne ye kiya humne itne logo ko garibi se nikala humne itne logo ko jobs diye etc etc and the last one is activity zone where different uh, areas group were performing like Nukkar Natak was there uh, like uh, uh, 
involvement of tourism uh, yuva club school and uh, like whatever we are having zonal level school and college performing the uh, main art which they are uh, like good at okay so this were these were the major attraction or you can call it the major component of that particular festival that was displaying for the six long days okay moving on there were certain brands yes what were the major things that we pushed kyunki ye hamare liye normal hai hamara khana north mein south mein east mein west mein wo hamare liye normal hai hum kahin pe bhi jaake wo kar sakte hain handicrafts can be available cultural social aspect also be there so what were the major reason what were the major brands or what were the major concern that we promoted in that event that is to be discussed for example maine aapko bola tha g20 yes india has assumed the presidency of g20 that means we are going to have lots of lots of influence around the world for this year okay apart from that we had a certain thing for example uh, life yes we are having certain uh, sustainable development goal uh, which are also related to climate change we are also uh, one of the foremost country jo ki international solar alliance jaise institutions ko kya kar rahi hai promote kar rahi hai we are also one of the uh, foremost country jo ki is uh, green energy ko clean energy ko promote kar rahe hain so life is one of the particular you can say lifestyle that we are promoting around the country around the world jiske through hum minimum energy consumption ke through maximum apna efficient productivity dikha sake and if you are consuming energy we are trying ki hum use green sources se green energy ya clean energy sources se kya kare प्रोड्यूस करें जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी यू आर अवेयर कि 1999 में जो फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हुआ था उसके बाद ये जी ट्वेंटी बनी थी जो वर्ल्ड uh, लेवल पे फाइनेंशियल स्टेबिलिटी का एंड कंट्रीज विच आर हैविंग मिडिल और लो इनकम उनकी ग्रोथ के लिए डिस्कशन उनके लिए पॉलिसी मेकिंग करता है देन इन 2015 वी हैड लॉन्च वन पर्टिकुलर कैंपेन दैट इज नोन एज एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत करेक्ट this is one of the uh, particular campaign that was supposed to put the boundaries of states and union territories aside hum chahte the ki mutual understanding of culture the mutual understanding between the pe- people from the different different region culture community uh, and other particular thing uh, they come they can, they come together they make a diverse culture they make a better uh, like country the united and integrated uh, india so ek bharat shreshth bharat was a campaign that was launched in 2015 it was promoted in the bharat par so that we forget the boundary and so that we can have integrated and united india apart from that we are the uh, ministry of tourism has launched this initiative in 2020 dekho apna wish yes i'm i'm pretty agree with that hai na tumhe bura lagega but uh, lots of people don't even uh, are able to uh, like uh, travel around the country matlab uh, i'm pretty sure north indian doesn't know very well about the south indians culture the eastern western uh, culture are different in india so this particular dekho apna desh was a particular campaign that was launched from the by the ministry of tourism in 2020 so that we can be aware about the different different culture and we can aware about the heritage that we are carrying from last thousands of years right so just uh, this these were the major particular concern that were promoted in that particular uh, bharat parv okay so that was bharat parv let's come to the question question number 1 bharat parv is associated with which of the following day that is republic day right and kahan pe ho raha hai that is in delhi okay new delhi what uh, what were the uh, the things that were happening ye sari cheeze likhi hain and apart from that what were the promoted uh, promoted brands so dekho apna desh एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत जी ट्वेंटी एंड लाइफ सो दीज आर दी पर्टिकुलर थिंग्स दैट इज बीइंग प्रमोटेड इनका एस्टैब्लिशमेंट ईयर इनसे रिलेटेड मिनिस्ट्री इनसे रिलेटेड जो बेसिक फैक्ट्स हैं वो आपके नोट्स में होने चाहिए बिकॉज दीज आर गोइंग टू बी द क्वेश्चन इन योर एग्जाम राइट सो दैट वॉज वॉट भारत पर मूविंग ऑन दिस इज अनदर इवेंट दैट हैज दैट एक्चुअली गेट द न्यूज अ लॉट दैट इज वॉट अमृत उद्यान okay so uh, you are aware about the rashtrapati bhavan okay that particular place is having a garden jiska pehle naam mughal garden tha and then in this particular republic day the government of india changed that name 
right mughal uh, mughal garden is now changed into the amrit udyan okay the thing is ki uh, lots of uh, different uh, concerned were the social media apart social media ko hata do so the government was quite clear this is like azadi ka amrit mahotsav and we are supposed to get rid of the uh, uh, like uh, feeling of slavery or feeling of other particular thing so they decided ki ye jo hai ye change hoga so mughal garden is a very famous as you can see in the photograph ये राष्ट्रपति भवन के सामने था जहां पे आपको सेंटर में एक लॉन देखने को मिलता है दैट इज द दैट इज द फ्लोर मैप सेंटर में एक लॉन देखने को मिलता है एंड देन यू कैन सी द वाटर चैनल्स दैट इज गोइंग फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर एंड यू कैन सी दी फोर डिफरेंट एरियाज वेयर यू कैन फाइंड दी गार्डन सो हेयर यू आर हैविंग सम unique uh, unique attractions for example rose garden is there uh, where you can find more than 150 different varieties of roses right <laughs> yes uh, yeah i mean uh, that's a that's a very 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 uh, important place whenever you are going uh, in a visit of uh, like uh, in visit of rashtrapati bhavan everybody talks about that mughal garden and uh, sorry the amrit udyan and the rose garden we are having uh, the cactus garden over there right we are having a spiritual garden over there which was dr apj abdul kalam zara jab unhone isko add kiya tha so the president house is actually having this particular unique and beautiful attraction which was known as mughal garden on the 26th of january 2023 the government of india decided that it is it is going to be renamed as amrit udyan okay so that is what amrit udyan now what uh, what is the history of this particular place let's come to the that so uh, the sir uh, uh, sir edwin lutens he was an architect actually uh, that gave the design for the uh, that mughal garden and he was also associated with the uh, this uh, rashtrapati bhavan as well so uh, he was the one who created who designed that particular garden acha uh, Mughal garden is one of the style of garden. Mughals used to have gardens. Mughal uh, जो rulers थे वो uh, अपने जो भी monuments बनवाते थे उनमें वो अलग अलग जगह पे अलग अलग क्या करते थे gardens बनवाते थे उनका एक style होता था जहाँ पे बीच में एक particular uh, center में कुछ lawn जैसा होता था आस पास आपको different different uh, four section में four uh, square section में different different gardens मिलते थे तो according to that style it was a uh, randomly named as mughal garden yes even in 1917 when it was completed it wasn't official ki iska naam mughal garden hai it was just the mughal style of garden so wo jo thoda sa persian thoda sa turkish uh, origin milta hai jisko hum char bagh structure bolte hain char means four so four jo aapko square shape mein gardens aas pass milte hain to char bagh structure jo hai usi ko mughal garden bolte hain mughal structure mughal style garden bolte hain so because of that it was unofficially named as mughal garden it wasn't having any official name uh, written on any official documentation right so the government of india said given it is and uh, it is not having any official name that we are going to give it uh, an official name that is going to be amrit udyan just make sure uh, sir e lutens ya edwin lutens jo hai ye bahut important naam hai kyunki yahi architect the yahi designer the okay uh, now uh, the Um, gardens were the major part of mughal literature as well for example bavarnama mein unhone uh, bavarnama mein ye cheez mention ki gayi thi ki persian charbagh garden kitna acha hota hai apart from that uh, until the 1819 century these like large garden which you are seeing uh, close to delhi and agra uh, city that were the major monuments uh, from the mughals the the entire uh, indian subcontinent copied that style of garden For example, when I was in Bhopal, so there is a place associated uh, named as Islam Nagar, and uh, that particular place was uh, the first uh, like uh, that that was the resident of first ruler of Bhopal. That was Dost Muhammad Khan. So even though he was not purely Mughal, but he created that Charbagh style or Mughal style garden in the Islam Nagar resident as well. so that is something that you can find around the india the uh, rashtrapati bhavan mughal garden or amrit udyan was famous because hamare state head jo hai wo wahan rehte the okay so uh, just because ki uska koi official name nahi tha mughal style garden tha char bagh style to usko mughal garden bulaya jane wala laga tha but the government of india decided that we are going to give it a proper name that is amrit udyan why because we are celebrating the azadi ka amrit mahotsav we are in the amrit kal as well okay so it's very simple uh, particular questions that are going to be asked 
what is the style that is Persian Charbagh, right? What was the old name that is Mughal Garden, new name Amrit Udyan, right? Uh, Kabbana 1917, who is our current president or how number of president hai. Cactus Garden, jo hai, wo kisne, uh, wo kiya tha, add kiya tha, that was President Arvengad Raman. Right, so uh, you will different different things that you can see. Right, so any doubt up to here, I hope you get, uh, you get it all. Okay, so uh, from the next uh, particular session that is going to be happen on next Saturday, uh, right, and the timing will be 8.30. Right, yes, 8.30 p.m. will be the time when we will conduct this session. Conduct right, ask for a time wo hua because I am having some work. So, from next Saturday onward, we are going to take 5 to 6 most important topic, right, of that particular week. And apart from that, we are going to have some uh, other sessions as well that will be uh, related to some uh, other law entrance exams like NLU Delhi, SLAT, MSCT, etc. So uh, now we are going to have uh, fun in the YouTube for uh, with, uh, with like uh, IMS GSL. So this is it from my side. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, so I wish you and all your loved ones a good health, good mental health. Just make sure if you're liking the content that we are delivering, make sure to subscribe IMS GSL and like the video. This is it. Good day, guys. Mm -hmm.